Ever watched an old time movie and wondered who the best actor was? Share your favorite actor from this film in the comments below. Also, what's your most special memory or personal experience with this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So grab some snacks, get comfy, and let the story take you into a world of mystery and suspense. Don't miss a single moment. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and exciting scenes. It's all coming up next. In 1941, a classic horror film emerged, sending shivers down the spines of viewers. Set in the eerie moors of England, the story follows a man cursed with a terrible affliction, transforming into a werewolf when the moon is full. Directed by George Wagner, the movie delves deep into the human mind, tapping into primal fears and the mysteries of the unknown. During this period, horror flicks were gaining popularity, and this particular tale of a man grappling with his inner monster stood out. Its impact on werewolf folklore and cinema is profound, cementing its place in the history of horror. The movie's influence endures, shaping subsequent portrayals of werewolves and leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Long before his famous role as a werewolf in The Wolfman, Bela Lugosi had already made a big impact in movies. His journey began on stage in the U.S. in a play called The Red Poppy. Although he struggled with English at first, Lugosi impressed everyone with his acting skills. Soon, he landed his first American film role in The Silent Command. Even before he became known for playing Dracula in 1931, Lugosi's eyes were a notable feature in many of his movies like Hypnos and The Silent Command. People were drawn to his eyes, which later became famous when he played mesmerizing characters. Lugosi's contribution to movies was recognized when he was featured on a U.S. postage stamp with other famous movie monsters. The stamp showed Lugosi as Dracula, confirming his place in movie history alongside other legendary actors and their famous characters. In this film, Claude Rains portrays the father of Lon Chaney Jr., who was the son of Lon Chaney Sr., thus Lon Jr.'s on-screen father and real-life father have both portrayed the Phantom of the Opera and feature films Lon Sr. in the 1925 original and Claude in the 1943 remake. Lon Chaney Jr. was the only person to have played all four of the classic movie monsters The Wolfman, The Ghost of Frankenstein, The Mummy's Tomb, Son of Dracula. Evelyn Ankers had a rough time on the set. Lon Chaney Jr. delighted in sneaking up on her in full makeup and scaring her senseless. In another scene, a bear was to wrestle with him, but broke loose, chasing her up into the soundstage's rafters. Released from his universal contract in 1945 due to alcohol-related issues, Lon Chaney Jr., the central figure in this 1941 film, faced challenges off-screen. The movie, set in a village reminiscent of Frankenstein, shares scenes featuring a horse and buggy passing under an archway, echoing another universal classic. A subtle yet intriguing detail lies in the painting of John Talbot, Larry's older brother. The older version of Lon Chaney Jr., with added facial lines and gray hair, cleverly doubles as Larry's sibling. This artistic choice maintains continuity while portraying the passage of time. In the shadows of the wolf man's narrative, real-life struggles, and Universal's shared cinematic universe subtly intertwine. Lon Chaney Jr.'s departure from Universal in 1945, the village's familiar visage, and the artistic blend of the actor's portrayal with that of his on-screen brother all contribute to the layers beneath the surface of this classic tale. In the film, Bela Lugosi portrays two iconic roles, mirroring Christopher Lee's later portrayals. Lugosi depicted Count Dracula and Frankenstein's monster in different films, while Lee took on similar roles in subsequent years. Additionally, the eyesight of Frischini car driven by Sir John Talbot is a notable detail, showcasing luxury and rarity with some models fetching high prices at auction. Ralph Bellamy, another actor in the movie, is documented in biographical sources. These elements contribute to the richness of the film's background and cast. Long ago, in the world of scary movies, there was a famous actor named Lon Chaney Jr. He played a werewolf in a movie called The Wolfman. He acted alongside another actor, John Carradine, in many films like This Is My Affair and Jesse James. Another actor, Bela Lugosi, who was also in The Wolfman, was once believed to speak very little English when he played Dracula, but historians have proven that wrong. The Wolfman, which came out in 1957, was a big deal on TV. People loved its spooky feel and unforgettable characters. It was so popular that they made another one called Son of Shock in 1958, adding even more scary stuff to the mix. Both movies had a big impact on how people see horror movies today. Even though these movies are old, they still inspire filmmakers and scare audiences. They've left a big impression on the world of scary movies and will be remembered for a long time. 
So next time you watch a scary movie, remember the actors who made it all possible. In the village, Larry Talbot and his father, Sir John, attend church on Sundays. Interestingly, the doorway and steps resemble those of a cathedral because they were part of the set from the legendary silent version of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. This set stood on the Universal back lot for over 20 years. The movie marks a significant shift for Universal, as it's the first since The Black Cat to introduce major characters during the opening credits, alongside the actors portraying them. Lon Chaney Jr. underwent a grueling process to transform into the Wolfman. It took him six and a half hours each day, starting at 2 a.m. to complete the makeup, ensuring he was ready for work by 9 a.m. After a full day's work, he spent an additional hour and a half removing the makeup. Influenced by writer Kurt Siodmak's experiences in Nazi Germany, the script for this classic film mirrors his tumultuous life. Just as Siodmak's normalcy in Germany was disrupted by the Nazis, Larry Talbot's life takes a chaotic turn when he becomes a werewolf. The Wolfman serves as a metaphor for the Nazis, a seemingly good man transformed into a vicious killer, recognizing his victims through a pentagram symbol. Claude Rains, known for his role in The Rivals in 1925, shared the stage with his then-wife Beatrix Thompson and two former wives. Interestingly, this theatrical connection adds a unique dimension to his involvement in The Wolfman. Bela Lugosi, on the other hand, had his journey cut short with Universal after filming Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman in 1943. The termination of his contract marks a notable point in the actor's career within the Universal filmography. These behind-the-scenes insights contribute to the depth and complexity of the Wolfman, offering a glimpse into the personal experiences of those involved in its creation. Ever wondered about those classic movie monsters that gave us the creeps? They've left quite a mark on pop culture, like when they were featured on those cool postage stamps back in 97. One of those stamps had this guy from that old werewolf movie. You know, the one where there's this debate about whether he's really turning into a werewolf or if it's all in his head. Yeah, that one. Originally, he wasn't supposed to be related to this other character, but they changed it up. It's interesting how they decided to make his werewolf form different from the others, too. These little details give us a glimpse into the making of that spooky film. During the scenes where he transformed into a werewolf, it took approximately 21 hours to achieve the on-screen transformation. Ralph Bellamy, honored with Broadway's 1958 Tony Award as Best Actor for his portrayal of Franklin D. Roosevelt, also played the role in two miniseries. Claude Rains' personal effects, including his 1951 Tony Award, were put into an auction in 2010. These items were used to help David J. Scow write his book on Rains and actor's voice.